What's up YouTube, Kyra back up in here with another video and today we have a luxury haul video. Are you guys tired of seeing these? I don't think you are because today we have some crazy, crazy, crazy pieces. I don't know what's in the water. Winter, we're going crazy with it. Every single video has had pure fire in it and this one is nothing short of that and that can only be possible with the beautiful people over at Farfetch for sponsoring this video. Can we get a, can we get a thank you? A, a big old thank you to the Farfetch gods. I really appreciate you guys for once again, reaching out to me and helping me put out some amazing content for you guys over on the channel because we have two very, very fire pieces from Farfetch. And if you guys didn't know, which you should already, Farfetch is your number one, one-stop shop for all things luxury fashion and fashion in general. They basically act as a middleman for smaller boutiques across the world. They source their product and their inventory and house it on their large platform of a website and they allow you to have access to a plethora of boutiques across the world and have all of their inventory so basically they have one of the largest array of sizes sizes range and stock that I've ever seen so that's how I was able to get some of the gems that are right next to me so let's get straight into it and of course before we even get into it who would I be to not help you guys out with a little discount code 10 kind and YT is the discount code. So if you guys want to take advantage of that and get 10% off of your order with of course some terms and conditions, all of that will be in the description box below for you guys to check out. But if you guys want to get 10% off of your order, definitely go take advantage of that. It's so useful. Trust me. Everyone waits for me to do one of these Farfetch videos because a Farfetch discount is something that you take advantage of. Okay. If you see some garm that you've been eyeing on Farfetch for quite some time, use the discount code, take advantage and get that piece you've always dreamed of because I already did. I have something in my hands that I've been looking at for quite some time. I thought I'd have to go all the way to Los Angeles, which I haven't been to since 2019 because of the, the P word and not, not P as in gonna, P as in. It's a panoramic. I took out a PPP loan for this, okay? I'm pushing P, 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 P. You know what I'm talking about, panoramic. <laughs> but this is the gallery department sweat hat gallery department is a brand that i've always thoroughly enjoyed but i haven't had any like heavy hitter item pieces from them i only had the socks so like this pair of sweats is something that i've always seen online but i've never been able to buy into but i can honestly say that seeing it in person the fit is one of the things that i've loved the most about gallery department and if you guys don't know they were like one of the main people that popularized this like whole panel extension ordeal that like basically flares out your pant and adds that extra amount of width to a sweat. They're pretty stretchy. They could fit like a good range of sizes. I got mine in a size medium and I'm typically a 31, 32 waist and they could fit upward to like maybe a 33, 34, I would say maybe if you're, if you're cutting it close, but yeah, pretty versatile size, especially with the elasticated waist for a sweat pant. Uh, great, great sweat. Overall, very wearable color. It's in a gray they have a light gray extension on the bottom and a black panel on the interior leg. But overall, you guys know how I rave about flared sweats. It's one of the things, or flared bottoms in general, just because they complement my physique perfectly. I have wider thighs, so it kind of counterbalances that and looks so nice on boots or sneakers. So I'm super excited to wear these moving into the spring months because right now it's a little slushy outside and snow on these, I would literally kill somebody if I seen that happen to me. You know what I mean? I would be so upset myself if I got salt stains on my brand new gallery department sweats that I love so much. So we're gonna go on to the next piece and get cracking with this beautiful jacket. That one was from Kachuni, if I'm pronouncing that per correctly, which is the small boutique that Farfetch housed that item from, which is based in Italy, which is insane. It went from Italy to my doorstep in a super short period of time, like maybe three, four days maximum, uh, which is so incredibly fast. They have one of the fastest shipping methods I've ever seen when it comes to fashion sites. So like that's another perk when it comes to Farfetch, insane. Next piece we got here is from Modes, which is another Italian site that they were kind enough to source from as a small or other boutique and then house it on the Farfetch site. And now it's in my possession and it's here. It's ready to be shown to you guys. And it is this Rick Owens Dark Shadow Worker Jacket. I've been wanting this jacket for years now 
for years. As I said before, I've been wanting this jacket for years upon years now. Um, it's always been a grail of mine. I've always seen them on other secondhand sites, but never brand new. And if I have, they've always been just like in a wrong size or anything. And Farfetch had it in a plethora of sizes. And it was around the time when I was asked to make this video. And I was like, that is the one. That is the one for me. This as a little suit with the Tyrone foil wax pants that I just got is gonna be insane in the spring. I'm so excited to have that little uniform look. It's gonna be so, so, so nice. And as this wears in, this wax is gonna be perfect. It's a little stiff right now, but after I put in some miles in it, it's gonna be great. So I believe this is like a denim or a canvas and they treated it with this wax coating and then it has that nice sheen on it. But I just love how the long, the arms are elongated and it's a bit like cropped in the chest, but it's a more of a slimmer, sleek silhouette. So it's very flattering and, and slimming at the same time it being in black. So I'm really beyond excited to have an item like that. Both of those pieces are insane to me. I can't believe that they're in my possession and it's all thanks to the beautiful people over at Farfetch once again. So if you guys didn't hear the first time, my discount code is 10KyronYT and all of the information and this like small little intricacies will be found in the description box below. So you'll be able to know how to take advantage of this discount code and get 10% off of your order. We're going to move on to the next garments and items in this video. Let's get into it. So the next item is from another fellow YouTuber. I just want to say a huge thank you to Ken, Ken Ijima. I'm sure you guys have heard of Ken before. His vlogs are notorious. He has a cult fan base. People love his content and I am a very big fan of his work as well. I feel like he makes very entertaining content and a great insight into the world of Japan that very few people get to experience on a daily basis and gives a little insight into that life. I've always wanted to go to Japan and watching his videos has given the fashion niche that we occupy a really great view into that world and I think Ken is doing a great job and especially with Vujade just gone to such high heights and has surpassed being a YouTube brand I don't think it even has that connotation to it at all and I feel like seeing brands like his gives hope to other YouTube creators to not see their work as just limited to merch that you can actually elevate it and develop it into a concrete brand moving forward into your practices. So all that to say, Bujade has been one of the brands that I have thoroughly enjoyed as of recent. And Ken was kind enough to send me over this over shirt. It's like a like a thicker cross between like a shirt and a jacket. Let's call it a shacket and call it a day right there. Um, but it's made out of like a nice wool, I believe is the material. If there's a tag on the inside, that'll tell us. Yeah, the shell is wool. 80, 84% and then 16% nylon and then the lining is Cupro, which Cupro is a great alternative to silk if you guys didn't know about that. Love the color, this like almost ivory white and has that great Rujade tag right there if you guys didn't know. And yeah, I just feel like it's a beautiful piece, very simple and sometimes you don't need to do the most with items like this. Has a bit of a longer cut but has this little peak out that curves so you can like see a lot more layers of your outfit that makes sense has a little curvature which is great honestly like I said simplicity is kind of the key sometimes and you don't need to go above and beyond all the time just making like a perfect perfectly fitting garment with a very simple color could just be paired with a lot of different outfits and has a lot of versatility and I feel like with a brand like this that's exactly what they're going for to just making perfectly executed garments one of my favorite ones that they've done recently is the leather double knee pants I feel like that was an insane idea and I'm surprised no one else thought to do it before but they they did so shout out to the Vujade team both Tom and Ken I really appreciate them sending over that piece and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in the future so we're gonna get on to the last little bits so this was actually an interesting come up I did a shoot for Arcteryx Valence and they had this skirt funny enough this women's wear valence skirt and i've always been interested with the idea of like having that as a layering piece because it kind of gives off like a yoji type of aesthetic very japanese and i've never found one that fits men's proportions or just like a lot of the ones that i've seen were super expensive like either like rick or yoji etc and finding this this was like about 400 bucks but i was able to use my credit that was given to me from the shoot that i did with arcteryx valence and i was able to 
walk away with this piece. So it's like very tech forward, very drapey, very Japanese. And like the nylon's gonna wick away whatever type of um, material, <laughs> whatever type of weather comes my way, I'm gonna be prepared with my skirt. So that is gonna be super fun to pair in the spring and the fall. I love the drapery that it has and the, just the shape overall. I think it makes for a really interesting Japanese-esque aesthetic. And the fact that it's Arc'teryx is even more interesting and cool to me. That for styling purposes is gonna be so sick. I thought of it surpassed me like not even just for me to wear that all the time like to use that for shoots it's super dramatic and very useful so i'm excited to see me utilize that in the years to come and months to come whatever on to the next one <laughs> next piece right here is this arcteryx system a jacket i kind of caved with this this was like an enabled slash uh impulse piece right here i just i'm a sucker for a black jacket that's functional especially in montreal it's just like it's very useful to use jackets like this like you're gonna be warm it serves its purpose it wicks away water it's stylish anything that's gorpy is just very useful with canadian climate i find so little dead bird right there if you guys don't know system a is kind of like their fashion forward version of arcteryx it's like a little semi collection that they do every year they've done two so far this is the second one and i feel like this is the nicest piece that i've seen so far from both of those collections so i decided to scoop that one up it just seemed like a lot of bang for the buck and it was the only size xl that was there when i went to go see the collection i also styled the shoot for system a that should be coming out relatively soon so i'm really excited to see that so i just wanted to like partake in that whole experience and just like really be in that moment i felt like i had like back-to-back -back arcteryx jobs that came my way and that is just gonna be associated to that memory for me so i didn't really mind shelling out a little bit of money for a jacket that i really enjoyed and then also have a great memory associated to it so it made sense to me also in that same breath i have this arcteryx balaclava kind of like just a statner balaclava nothing too crazy it's just it's also from the system a collection but it's pretty simple it just has like an off black and the black rest of the details nothing too crazy very simple can't say too much about it and the last piece is a piece that a lot of people were asking about from my vlog i don't remember which one if i do remember it, i'll have it as a card on the screen or in the description box below but all of that to say in the comments everyone was raving about pair of brown trousers that I tried on. Funny enough, I removed them from my wish list because I found them not to be like a practical pair of pants because of how heavy they were and how long they were because of, and the material they were made out of. It, it's like a heavy wool. And because of how much they dragged on the ground, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to wear them in the winter because they're just gonna drag and get slushy and disgusting. And then in the summer, spring, it's gonna be too hot to wear them. But anyway, all of that to say, I was looking for a piece for Megs through my my wish list or through past appointments and funny enough while i was doing that i found the pants in that same appointment of the video that i was doing for you guys with the vlog and for some odd reason when i was shopping for them they just popped back into my life so here they are sean Sven is the brand sorry for butchering that if that is not the way you're supposed to say it but love this brand they fit so well super wide super baggy great cut overall just like they drape so perfectly they're made really well super soft a uh, good weight to the whole piece and they have this big zipper on the side and a really large leg opening that i fancy it's just crafted very well for a piece of this nature i'm really excited to like put some more outfits together with these I wore these at my Arcteryx uh, shoot and the people loved it. The way it paired with the Valence stuff is just like a really cool slim to wide aesthetic. And I was happy to have these come back into my life. So that was really exciting. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel once again. Of course, I always appreciate you guys for checking out the videos. It makes my day. And a huge thanks to Farfetch for, for sponsoring this video once again. 10 Chiron YT is my discount code to get 10% off of your order all of the details will be plastered in the description box below please let me know what you guys found to be your favorite item in this whole video i'm super excited to style both of the farfetch pieces and everything else that i showed in this video and just make sure to go follow me on my instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics and this and that so that's what you can check out on there that's what i'm going to be styling a whole majority of these pieces as well as like this video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new i'm going to check you guys out on the next one peace
case. These pieces are crazy. I have to chill out. There is too much here, but for right reason. So fire. <laughs> Why these niggas really tryna fit in?